Hey guys, uh, good morning. It's Friday. Woo! Uh, me and the family are going to be heading out for some camping. I'm super excited about. But listen, I want to share um, a few quick thoughts I had to follow up on the video that I made the other day. And so transitioning from the topic of is life happening to you or is life happening through you? And then I spent a few sessions talking about um, the lens that we that we have control over in our lives, the lens that we choose to view the world and ourselves through. And again, this whole thing is just just from my experience. It's only um, it's only what I've gone through, what I've experienced, and the thought processes and all of that that I've that I've had in the middle of it. <clears throat> so this is one thing that I did want to share with you. And I think it's uh, it, it at least was really, really cool and powerful in my life. So if somebody wants to get into, I talked about it in my last video about how in my past I, I wasn't in really good shape or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> if you want to, we all know, if you want to get in good shape, it's pretty much been proven that there isn't a magic pill. There isn't some quick way, uh, cheat mechanism. You have to have discipline. That's really what it comes down to. It's not even as simple as just exercise and, and diet. It really is self-discipline, self-awareness, self-discipline. Um, well, when we're talking about things that go outside of physical activity and the shape that our temple's in, it also has to do with discipline. And here's what I mean by that. Most of the time, we're just in this, this state of in our psyche where things... Um, are undisciplined. We kind of associate and become every thought that pops into our head. So whether you start your day with a bad thought, have a negative uh, or a, um, a not a good night's sleep, or or whatever, those thoughts come in, and we immediately don't do any exercise. Like we know we have to do for our bodies, we for some reason don't believe we have to do that for mind, body, and spirit. But the for me. I needed to really, really work on exercising my mind and not just associating with every thought that pops in my head or every feeling and just be tossed to and fro like some kind of, you know, some kind of little leaf in a, in a river or a, or a lake and every, every ripple that comes along, it gets swept away with it. And here's how it was kind of shared with me or that, uh, the universe, God, creator, whatever, uh, whatever you call that source, this is how it was shared with me, that you have to exercise discipline in the same manner that you have to exercise physical discipline for your temple. And it starts with this, that you have to change the way that you think. And if you've thought a certain way and use certain neurological pathways for a long, long time, that becomes the path of least resistance and it's what your brain is always going to go to. So if you've had a negative image of yourself, if you've had negative thoughts about your life and where it's going or how things are going, the more you visit that path and that thought process, the easier that path is going to become to continually go down. And same thing when you're exercising your body, you can plateau. If you do the same thing all the time, you're going to plateau and you're no longer going to have a growth experience because you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. Well, that's the way it works with our neurological pathways. And we kind of are what we think. I mean, whatsoever a man thinketh. And, and you can use whatever rendition of that that you want, but our thoughts are powerful. Our words are powerful. Um, so we have, to, we have to start to work on the way that we think first. If we can change the way slowly by exercising self-discipline, the way that we think, we can in turn, this is how it worked for me, we can in turn change the way that we talk. And we know enough about talking that literally spelling or spell casting, uh, even the word grammar in French, grammaire, I think that's how you say it, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, but, I, but I at least have studied the root of the word and it basically means spell casting. And that we know that our words are powerful, we know that our words have creative potential. But yet we don't watch the way that we speak about ourselves and others or about our life. So we have to slow the way we think. We have to change the way we think. Uh, choose to discipline what comes into our brains and how we express it. 
And if a thought comes in, we don't have to automatically emotionally associate with it and believe that's our current state. You can step back from a thought and just become an observer and go, that's interesting. Why do I feel that way? Or, you know, why am I thinking that way about myself or this situation? So if you can change the way you think, you can change the way you talk. And if you change the way you talk, it'll start to change the way that you actually believe about yourself and the world. At least that's what happened for me. So I had to change the way I was thinking. And then that started to create uh, a development of, okay, I don't have to think this way. I also don't have to speak this way. And then after that, once you change your language, you can change what you believe about yourself and about the world. And once you change what you believe about yourself and about the world that you're living in, then you can start to act differently. But until you believe differently than you currently feel right now about yourself, your situation, or your relationships, or whatever, you can't change them because you're stuck in a belief pattern and a mindset about them. So change the way you think, which helps you change the way you talk. When you start talking differently, you're casting a different spell. You're casting a different purpose and a different um, pattern into your life. Once you start to cast a different pattern, and you're now talking positively, you're believing in yourself, you're, you're pursuing your dreams, you're doing those, um, um, those things that you felt you never could have stepped out before and done. And you're believing differently. Now that you're believing differently, you're going to start acting differently. And once you start acting differently, then that is literally what propels you into a whole different reality for your life because you're not acting like the old version of yourself. You're not thinking that way. You're not speaking that way. You're not believing that way and you're not acting that way. That's how you can change your life is once you take that ownership role of self-reflection. Oh, I need my coffee. Once you take that ownership role of self-reflection, it's not just about sitting back and viewing everything that's going on. It's about changing um, how you're believing about yourself, um, how you're speaking about yourself and what your, um, what actions are you taking? And then once you start to take those actions, that's how you start to manifest change in your life. Anyway, uh, real brief video before I get started for the day at work, but I just wanted to share that had some, had those thoughts come in really powerfully, um, last night and, and again, this is just my experience, just things that um, have helped me along the path. If it resonates with you, awesome. If it doesn't, awesome. I have no other agenda than to just uh, share my experience and uh, speak about it. Not be afraid to speak about it. So that's where I'm going to stop for today. We've got a camping trip coming up. Hopefully I can get more content out on either Saturday night or Sunday afternoon. All right, guys, thanks. See you later.